Howdy folks, we got some cool stuff to do today. So I'm not gonna be messing around, I'm just gonna jump right into this video, because I guarantee you I'm way more excited about this than any of you out there. We have a box full of carbon fiber. Now it's like about three or four pounds worth of carbon fiber, and that's a lot of carbon fiber. This stuff is super light. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now for those of you that follow me over on Instagram, you already know exactly what's inside this box. And for those of you that don't follow me, you're missing out. I post a lot of behind the scenes pictures and videos over there. So definitely worth checking out. I'll put my username right up here in the corner. So let's dig into this, see what we got. All right, looks like today we are gonna be installing lots of bubble wrap because I'm actually not gonna ride this bike. I'm just gonna wrap it up in bubble wrap and uh, hang it on the wall. Ooh, we got something big. Check that out. You guys know what that is. Be careful not to drop it there. That would freaking suck. Here, let's pull it out of the package. Give it a little closer inspection. Dang, dude, that is freaking beautiful. I have never seen anything like that before. And it's like paper light too. That is insane. What the heck? Definitely did not disappoint. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, bunch of little pieces. Got a rotor guard. Looks like a fork protector. The other side fork protector. A caliper guard and a master cylinder guard. Now all this is complete carbon fiber from CMT over in Italy. It's not a uh, carbon wrap. This gas tank is handcrafted from carbon fiber inside and out, so none of that fake stuff. This is legit carbon fiber of the best quality you can find. This stuff is unbelievable. I think I'm having an eyegasm right now. Just freaking speechless. Feels like I'm in a dream. But what do you guys think about all this carbon? And what should we bolt up first? Get out of here, fly. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna go for the big boy, hit the home run, and bolt up the gas tank first. The fly better not pooped on my parts anywhere. Oh, I think we're good. All right, let's get hands on with this tank and really look at all the little details. So the first thing I look at with carbon is the fibers. These ones have some nice depth to them. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Really beautiful work. And then the seams, these things are literally perfect. Doesn't really get much better than that. All the threaded inserts were done right. All looks good. Take a look at the bottom side. They really did not spare any details on this. And then for the cap, I believe it has a threaded or aluminum threaded insert. Take a look at that. Nice clean edging around that. Got the vent hose. Love the little red accents on this. So yeah, personally, I've never seen anything more beautiful than this. Really, really quality work. Oh, and to show you guys that this is a full carbon tank and not just a carbon wrap, let's look inside. Oh yeah, she's full carbon, all right. We've got it side by side with the stock tank. By the way, we'll have to swap out the seat posts and the front rubber mount as well. And what everyone wants to know is which one is lighter and what's the difference? We already know which one looks cooler. That's a given, but let's throw these on the scale. And just to make everything fair, I'm gonna pull these off, these pieces off first. I'm gonna take a guess here. So just lifting them up by hand, hmm. I'm gonna guess the carbon tank's about 12 ounces lighter. How about we throw them on the scale? This one is two pounds, 9.4 ounces. Oh boy. All right, we have one pound 12.1 ounces so what is that 13 13 and a half ounces that's a pretty good uh pretty good difference just in a gas tank i mean just lifting it up by hand it feels like a feather compared to the stock tank but of course i'm not only after just weight reduction the carbon tank is going to be a lot stronger 
and it looks badass. This is gonna be the conversation piece on the whole bike. Now the main reason I brought the stock tank over is to look at the wear patterns on it. I don't want the same thing happening to this beautiful tank. So it looks like it wears pretty good right here from the seat and then on the side from the shroud as well. So I am gonna to wanna to protect those areas on the carbon tank. Now what I'll be using to protect the carbon fiber is this adhesive Velcro or like Velcro tape. I'm gonna be using the softer side of it. Just gonna lay it down in these areas and it should take the brunt of the wear. So we've got a rough side of the Velcro and a softer side. The softer stuff is what I'm gonna use. That ended up working out perfectly. The other half fit just right on this side. And so looking at this tank, looks like we could use another piece down here as well. I probably just added my weight savings back onto the tank, but hey, you know what? Gotta protect your investment. Got to put on the mounts and a pet cock as well. I <sighs> got a problem guys. My OCD is not letting me put this pet cock on. Really tempted to Cerakote it. Screw it, we're doing it. So the colors I'll be using for this little project are burnt bronze and graphite black, both in Cerakote brand. The petcock turned out pretty sweet. Just love that color combo. Hard to beat black and bronze together. Let's see how it looks. Money. So while I had this apart, I realized a lot of the seals and this filter are pretty old and crusty. So I ordered up a rebuild kit for that. But in the meantime, I can still get this gas tank set on the bike. Here we go. Dude, that is money. Holy crap. I'm just gonna sit here all day and stare at it. That is something else, man. Just fits perfectly on there. I love it. And of course, gotta have something trick for the gas tank bolt and washer. Let's see what we got here. Just gonna put a fresh bolt on it, about that size. And then for a washer, got these drilled aluminum washers from Bolt. I would say that's probably gonna fit the bill. We're gonna need a breather hose as well. Let's see what we got over here. Got some leftover fuel line from Nihilo. Looks like this is the right size. So yeah, that should look pretty trick too. I know you guys are loving this stuff just as much as I am. So I will link every one of these carbon pieces from CMT down below in the description. You guys have to go check this stuff out. So a couple things I forgot to mention with this gas tank, it is a little bit larger than stock. It holds about a quarter more of a gallon. So that's pretty cool. Makes for some longer motos, longer trail rides, whatever you're doing. And then as far as removing the gas cap, if you tighten it by hand as tight as you can go, it always cracks loose just by hand. And if that doesn't work for you, there are some gas cap wrenches out there. So that's an option too. One thing that's pretty cool about this gas cap too, it's recessed and so you're not gonna rack your boys on it. If you guys have ever racked your nards on a conventional gas cap, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel too good. So some of you guys might remember a while back, probably like seven or eight videos ago, I had shown in a video that I bought a bunch of carbon materials to do carbon fiber work myself. And through some research on my own and some messages from you guys, I quickly realized that carbon work takes a lot of skill, there's a lot of tooling involved, and you have to take a lot of safety precautions. So obviously, it wasn't in my best interest to be doing carbon fiber work, uh, considering I just got a cancer six months ago. And so it was the better decision to go pick up these pieces from CMT. I'm usually the type of guy that likes to do everything myself. I love just creating my own pieces and doing um, having my own touch on things. 
but in this case, I didn't really want to risk my health and it would have taken a long, long time to get carbon work even close to this good. So really glad I just went ahead and grabbed these pieces from CMT. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little insight on what goes into creating carbon fiber. We've got a few more carbon pieces to bolt up here. Let's get to it. But of course, gotta find some fresh hardware from the bolt kit. Gonna wanna find something with a fatter head on it. Something like that. Definitely wanna use the correct hardware with this stuff. Man, I just can't get enough of this carbon fiber. These pieces fit perfectly and look even better on the bike. We've got a couple parts left here. The fork protectors. These go on the front of the fork lug. Protect the lug like that. That looks super trick as well. And we are gonna be holding off to install those since in the next video, I'll be doing some suspension coatings and I'll need to pull these forks completely apart. Now let's answer the question, is carbon fiber really worth it? In terms of strength and weight, this stuff is unbeatable. It's unbelievably strong and lightweight. You guys saw the gas tank was almost a full pound lighter than stock, and it's gonna take a lot of force to destroy any of these parts. And then as far as looks go, once again, you can't really beat the look of carbon fiber. This stuff is spendy. You are gonna have to drop some dough on carbon fiber, but if you're looking for only the best in terms of weight, strength, and looks, this stuff is the ticket. I mean, you can get away with the stock plastic tank, plastic guards, but once again, if you want only the best, then carbon fiber is the way to go. And if you're gonna drop the dough on carbon fiber, you might as well get the good stuff. If you guys know Italian made products by any means, you know they're top notch. So far, I've been really impressed with everything from CMT, and that's who I'd recommend for carbon fiber. I'll link all the parts I used throughout this video down below in the description. All right, so you dropped some coin and invested in some carbon fiber. Now, how the heck are we gonna keep this stuff looking new? So carbon fiber usually has a clear coat or a gel coat on top. And so you can use a regular automotive wax to protect it. I'm not too much in the car scene, so no recommendations there, but I would just recommend a higher quality automotive wax. And if you wanna get fancy with it, you could also do a clear vinyl on top of the carbon. That'll protect it really good as well. Let's pull this thing outside and see how she looks in the sun. So that is gonna be it for this video. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch through it. If you enjoyed it, all I ask of you in return for me making these videos is to share it. So share it with your buddies, share it on Facebook, share it over on Instagram. I appreciate it all. And you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for the next video coming out. We got some really cool stuff coming your way. So till then, keep it prime.